Metal Blade's 35th Anniversary Tour. Featuring Cattle Decapitation. And we are here with Josh from Cattle Decapitation at the TLA for Metal Blade's 35th Anniversary. Josh, how you doing, man? I'm good. Tired for no reason, but, you know, doing all right. Tired for no reason. You guys are on a tour. Where were you last night? Boston. Yeah, there I you go. Sad I had to think about that. You know. <laughs> See, that's we're not even that far into it, and I'm already. Well, that's that's a good. That's, that's a what energy drinks are for. Oh, it's like coffee's the extent of my energy drink. Really? It just makes you poop. Yeah. <laughs> well, aren't, aren't, aren't you guys like that. sponsored by Red Bull or Monster, or oh, Rockstar, no. or something? No. Other members should be sponsored by other things that aren't liquids, but uh, no, uh, no, we're not. We don't have any sort of sponsorship like that. I think. I don't know, someone threw us a flat of like, it was some weird off-brand, like it was a, a really tacky, some like hemp energy drink. Yeah, It was yeah. in a flat, like, hey man, so you guys want to do with this? And everyone kind of that enjoys that sort of thing choked it down for like the longevity of that case and was like, thank you. All That'll right. be all. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, be again. Before Heather has some fun with you here, because I know she's been wanting to have some fun with you guys tonight, and how's the reception of the album been overall? Obviously, you know, it came out you know, almost two years ago, mm -hmm. I guess at this yeah, point. Yeah, August uh, 2015. So, yeah, so how's everything been going with that? And that's because that is your most recent yes, album that absolutely. you put out there. Yeah. So how's everything been going with that? It's been going really well. People yeah. respond to those songs. Like yeah. same thing with Monolith, the previous record. Um, and then you know, Harvest Floor, the one previous to that. Um, but especially the past couple, like yeah. there's stuff where we're like, oh, I feel kind of lame. Just like we can't neglect our earlier material because there's stuff in there we like, and then we know other people like. Right. Um, but just you know, the response seems to be the most consistent with the past couple records. Yeah. And one of the things I noticed about that, you had some really cool collaboration that was mm -hmm. on that album. I couldn't help but notice there was a particular track on there where you had Phil and Samo on there. That's mm -hmm. that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. We had, it was a, he was like a friend of a friend kind of thing. Okay. Uh, John Jarvis, it's actually in Scour okay. uh, with him, is kind of our mutual buddy. He texted us during the recording, and okay. you know, I'll do my best worst John voice. I'm like, how would you like to have Phil Anselmo on your record? <laughs> right? You know, <laughs> or like, why would he care? <laughs> you know, whatever. <laughs> oh, we did. We did his. We did his um, Housecore Horror Fest. Oh wow! In, okay. Uh, 2014. All right. So we we're like, oh well, maybe you know, on his radar or whatever. So he was kind enough to uh, lend his vocals, and he has a studio at his house in uh, New Orleans area. Nice. So, uh, nice. I'm just it's probably not actually New Orleans proper, but you know, yeah, that's close Southern enough. Louisiana. So he uh, sent us some tracks. And Thank you very much. Integrated them into everything, and okay, there we are. There we are. All yeah. right, very cool. Yeah, no, nice. So now, you're writing for the next album coming up, and do you think <laughs> you would have Phil again on it? Yeah, right. right. <laughs> yeah, who, we, who we got on the next one? Right? Uh, writing has not started for that yet. Uh, we, we were actually just discussing that, like our schedule for like the, the rest of the year, because at the end of this year, I mean, as far as I know, I mean, who knows? Things can change. Right. Uh, it's going to be into the tour cycle for this record. Okay. We'll probably take a few months off to, you know, go stare out the window for a while and then start <laughs> trying to write again. But it's going to yeah. be a different experience this time because for every record in the past, we've all been in the same city, you know, able okay. to come in and stare at each other. And well, how spread out. out are you guys? Um, well, Travis and I, well, Travis, Derek and I are in um, San Diego. Okay. But Dave, our drummer, um, is currently in Seattle. Okay. And may be moving to suburban Chicago. Here oh, wow. Chicago land. Right. If, uh, if we were really efficient with our time, maybe we can, you know, just try to be as productive knowing we're under, under the gun and kind of have that sort of short amount of time and just that sort of not immediate, you know. Right. Well, I'll come over tomorrow, we'll jam. Which it might be healthy because then it puts you in that sort of, we have to do this. The, sure. You know, there's, you know, his, his plane ticket, you know, the cost of that and all this stuff. It's like, we got to do this. We can't just like, Piddle around like we did. I mean, we still got pretty. Piddle, two, you guys piddle. We piddle. <laughs> uh, two pretty good albums out of the piddling. They but, piddle. Uh, but uh, you know, this is going to be much more of Kettle a piddle. Decapitation, they piddle. But the piddle. after you do like a tour for so long, and <laughs> then do. you then you come home, mm -hmm. like how do you get motivated to get back out, or are you spending the whole time wanting to get back out? Uh, it's one of those things that like when you're home, you want to be out. When you're out, you want to go home. It's no, no one's ever happy, you know. And I'm no, I know there's some people who like live to tour. Like they don't get the second they're home, they're antsy. I mean, I've kind of been like that in the past, but the older I get, it's like not that I don't want to tour or scale it down to where it's minimal or anything like that. But you it's want just, your bed. It's just like <laughs> what? You want your bed? Yeah, yeah. I mean, this certain <laughs> thing. Yeah, but it's stuff like that. Yeah, those sort of comforts and all that. And it makes you appreciate it when you're out more, you know. But there are times when I'm home. I'm like, Can't get the out of here. You know, yeah. work being work being what it is and all that for everyone. It's just, you get stir crazy. And you just, you realize you, how much you have to have, like, playing out, you know, in, like, you're sort of wired into you. So, you know, yeah. you get that out of your system. And after the first couple weeks of tour, you're like, oh, I want to go home, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So.
so. The life of a rock star. Yeah. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, for I know. You, it's man. a terrible situation. You know, yeah. my bleeding heart. I know. <laughs> so I was like looking through your albums and stuff, and mm -hmm. I noticed the awesome imagery on your artwork. Do you get a lot of negative? against it because I mean I feel like nowadays everybody's so prissy pants yeah, and they're like you know you can't say certain things you can't do certain things mm -hmm. I mean like what is the general reaction to it the only trouble we've ever had was back in 2002 when our to serve man album came out uh, this German distributor wouldn't take really? it because it was like the cover is this fellow with his like insides opened up and his guts on a platter okay, basically. Okay, so disemboweling Nair. <laughs> yeah, so right. yeah, anything sort of remotely violent, no go, but if it's okay. like some gratuitous sexual thing, then oh, that's fine. You know, it's just yeah, a it's different, it's yeah, a different yeah, value, yeah, kind of different value system and how that right. goes, but uh, that's the only time we've, well, um, no, I'm sorry, that's not right. Humanor, the record after that, which is a really gross cover. Hey, he's going to get to the next album after that. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, beyond yeah. that point, they're all good. Uh, Humanor is a a cow it's almost like adam hart mother that's okay. the way i you know i at first i didn't recognize that and someone's like adam hart mother and i'm like oh god <laughs> but it's the cows kind of like hind end facing you know the sort of image and just looking over his shoulder but our version is like this sort of dismal dingy background with right. the cow just pooping out all these like human body parts and faces and stuff it's pretty awesome. it's pretty horrible oh, like yeah, it's I was, really I was like, bad oh my goodness yeah and, and like <laughs> who comes up with these ideas our west ben scoter the fellow we who's actually lives in uh is he in harrisburg yeah? I don't know, I think so. PA? Can you yeah, PA. There we go. Yeah, he's, uh, he's done all of our records since 2002. Nice. And we did a box set, he did the cover to that and some other stuff, and it's just, he's great. Very cool. I could not ask for a better person to work with. And I have, I have one other question. Mm -hmm. When I heard your name, I mean, were you guys on acid one day hanging out with cows and cow tipping and came up with this? No, the, the, two, <laughs> the two guys that concocted that name are actually haven't been in the band for a long time. But I think it was, you know, they were super young at the time. Well, yeah. 18 or whatever, and there's like, let's come up some badass and tough, some death, death metal sounding. So that, I mean, that's, it, there should be a much more, you know, interesting and intelligent response to that, but it's pretty much like a couple guys really stoned trying to come up with something <laughs> sick and brutal, and that's pretty much what it was. Channel decapitation seems I, the deal. I love it. Yeah, I think I it's great. It makes you think. Yeah. It's, people are like, it's, it's one of those things that, you know, if you're at work and what would band his name again? Yeah, like, <laughs> and it's not because right. I'm like ashamed of it. I mean, obviously, I dedicate my you know life to doing this crap. It's the you know there's going to be this big explanation and all these you know some people are like well, just say it's death metal and then leave it at that. And I feel I have that's to it. add all this sort of explanation yeah. that's like gives it legitimacy because I'm going into it thinking that they're going to be like oh here we go. Which <laughs> doesn't matter what I say. That's what we're going to think anyway. So right. I feel that I have to try to provide some intellectual buoyancy to that name yeah, yeah. as much as you could do well, that. Well, when you're you going to have a band name like that, you know, at least you live up to the hype, you know, because you got to have a sound that matches. Yeah, and uh, that's something know, that uh, we we've we've talked about. Like, when I was kind of growing up, I during these sort of, it was right as thrash and death metal, or death metal was kind of starting to come into existence and thrash and stuff. Yeah. And I remember seeing some of these brutal album covers, you know, that were just like either gory or whatever shocking kind of thing. Right. And I was always like, Man, this is gonna be so. Duh. And then you get the record, and it wasn't like you know, like necessarily a bad record. Especially in hindsight, you go back and listen to stuff, and I was like, that was actually really good. But you know, it just at that age, you just want that brutal, you know, yeah, just. Duh. And I'm like, <laughs> this isn't really, you know, this this covers all this gory stuff, and you know, or blasphemous or whatever it is, and you just don't have that impact. You, I was like, oh, right. I, I expected this to be Rick really a lot more like horrifying, and it's just kind of like. <laughs> Party thrash. Yeah. Well, not party thrash. I don't mean that, but just a little more oompa oompa oompa, you know, yeah. than that I was expecting. So I, we of course had to try to live up to our name, you know, and uh, other and you do. bajillion other mo modern <laughs> bands are doing the same. So I hope, you know, for this generation, they don't get a record and be like, oh, I thought it was gonna be my brutal. <laughs> And right? so it goes, you know. Right. Well, I know you got to get inside. Can, I can already hear some of the bands starting to get ready. I guess the opening act is out there right now. But mm -hmm. the one thing I kind of want to leave the audience with. Mm -hmm. uh, being that this is, you know, Metal Blade's 35th anniversary, mm -hmm. and you guys got tagged to represent, mm -hmm. since, you know, obviously you're Wait, on their label. Honor for us, yeah. Yeah, I was just going to say, you know, what does that mean to you, the fact that you guys have been tagged to, you know, do this nationwide tour? Well, we've been fortunate to be with them since, I think we signed late 2001, and our record came out in 2002. And, you know, they have been kind enough to let us grow and not be over our shoulder trying to put us in any sort of direction. I mean, you know, obviously when you're turning your record or whatever, they may have, you know, they always have comments and stuff because they're paying the bill. They got the comments. Understandable. Sure. Understandably. Yeah, right. yeah, got yeah, it. Yeah. But at the same time, they know that we're not, we're a band that like wants, they'll let us go 
go off in our own direction, you know, and have yeah. our little sort of... Sure. It's good. Yeah, so we, we respect them greatly for that, and they've put out, you know, amazing records for that entire duration of their, you know, existence. So it's wonderful to be able to support them, and it's an honor for us to be asked to do this tour and then just, you know, continue our relationship with them, so... A lot of great bands on the label. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, without a doubt, you man. Know. You're uh, you're amongst uh, good company. Yeah, we're very lucky. They are as well, man. So uh, you know, with that, guys, I just want to say, Josh, thank you. Very much thank for you. Your time. And thank I you. cannot yeah. wait to see your set tonight. This will be my first time. Oh, good. Okay. So I'm very, I'm very excited, and thank you for having us. Thank you. All right, Metal Blade's 35th anniversary. Rock Titan, we're out. <laughs>